Ladies and gentlefish, I was trying to finish my lunch, but we already got a match starting. Let's go. HTM Esports versus HTM Brazil, the defending world champions. This is the second semifinals in the Snapdragon Cup 2. If you missed the other semifinals, it was the last video. Go back and watch it because <laughs> it was amazing. It was Tribe Gaming versus HST, and uh, I won't spoil it for you, but it's probably already spoiled. It came down to the final attack of the match. We got HTM Esports versus HTM Brazil. I don't even know what's the full lineup of HTM Esports. Not sure these days. HTM Brazil, you guys know, is the defending world champions, but here we go. Let's do it. A little Warden Walk action on the right side of the base. We got Rocket Balloons. We got two Earthquake spells. Are we going to try to fireball the core? Heck yeah, we are. Boom! With the Quake spells. Get the CC building. Sweet. One Archer got out in time. No big deal. Let the Grand Warden just chill, do his own thing. Look at this Royal Champion Rocket Spear from the right side of the base. Send two Headhunters in the Rage Gym. Alright, that's all looking good now. King Queen on the left side of the base doing their thing, chilling like a villain. Grand Warden with healers. Can he take out this Town Hall? We need to freeze, we need to freeze, we need to freeze. The Rage isn't good enough! What are you doing, Schneider? You lose all the healers, you swag a Rage spell. Oh, he didn't have any more freezes. Lol. I'm blind. Don't mind me. Has to switch to plan B. Battle blimp to town hall. Without any spells, too. This blimp is, uh, questionable. I don't even think he gets the town hall without a spell. Does he? No. Swag's a blimp, basically, too. The rocket blimps don't even get the monolith. Are we about to start this match off with a one star? We are. He might be able to rocket balloon the town hall, but he's gonna go for the monolith first. And he sent all of the rocket balloons. You could have direct targeted the town hall. And you sent the rest from the top. What the? Bro, somebody check the bank accounts. HTM Brazil definitely paid HTM Esports. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But what in the world? What a weird way to start a match. We got Achilles from HTM Brazil with their first attack. Now, to be fair, their last attack, they had a fail in the in under their last match, they had a fail in the first attack. And last weekend, they had like three one stars in the same match. So you never know what the heck's gonna happen when this team plays now. Warden walk the bottom side of the base with an angry jellyfish. Flamey flinger on the right side of the base, doing some flinging. A lot of rocket balloons ready to rock and roll. No unicorn whatsoever in this attack. Interesting decision. Invis? Why? Hello? And then drops it again. So he can fireball to the middle. Okay. Basically swag that first and oh, oh Warden's so dead. You just swagged a rage spell too. What is up with both these teams? And bad spell usage on their Grand Warden. Grand Warden dying anywhere. What is going on? Queen on the outside. King has the healers. Flame Flinger is flinging. That Warden was supposed to stay alive forever. So the plan's already not going to plan. We got... Minions. On the right side, we got Royal Champion doing Royal Champion things. Sure. Earthquake Boots opening everything up. Rocket Balloons doing Rocket Balloon things. <clears throat> Royal Champion will take out the Town Hall. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy with the free spell. King with the Phoenix ability does not get the monolith. Champion goes straight into the Gigabomb. This is sketchy, bro. This is sketchy. Queen has magic mirror though. Rocket balloons do take out the monolith. But Flame flinger troops about to come out and help support. Poison spell on the enemy champion, and he might still triple. He might still triple. After all that shenanigans. Super minions out of the flame flinger. Down goes the last scatter shot. Xbox locks onto the queen. Uh, at least she can get the poison tower. Come on, super minions might be able to clutch up and finish off the base. Couple red air bombs. Super minions will get the expo. Queen's dead. Super minions are low. He might actually fail. Inferno Tower might save the base, which will be great for HTM Esports, which means we will have a match on our hands. Inferno Tower, one Inferno Tower to rule them all. Look at that. It's going to be a defense. 
is going to be a defense, 97%. But that means both teams, HTM Esports, are still in this match. HTM Esports. It's square root, square root, square root, Zahid. I-K-A-T-M, square root, square root, square root of nothing. Interesting. I didn't even know you can get the square root in a clash name. That's kind of cool. Here we go. Warren walk from the right side of the base. It's so popular these days, but we're following it up with super ballers. No super witches on this one. No rocket balloons either. Do we have a fireball? Maybe not, because we don't have any earthquake spells, so probably not. Down goes these Xbox on the right side of the base. We should be ready to rock and roll. What's he waiting for? What's he waiting for? There we go. King will pull the warden. Flame Flinger will keep getting more value. Angry Jelly dies to a seeking air mine, but at least that actually saves a healer. Find another trap. And another trap with some cocoa balloons. Dude, all the traps are over here. He's got no more cocoa balloons, though. E Titan. Super Bowlers. You better hope you don't hit a red bomb farm. Maji. Trying to keep an eye on those healers. Trying to see if there's a red bomb farm. Ice Golem's in. Baby Dragon. Why do we send a baby dragon? He's using the baby dragon as a cocoa loon. That's what he's doing. He's scared that he's going to lose all these healers. LOL. Super Bowler's making their way inside. Baby dragon's actually getting some decent value. Still got this warden ability. Pop it right there. Everybody's safe for now. Here comes CC troops trying to bounce the ricochet cannons. We get through it. Baby dragon's actually going to snipe the eagle artillery for him. That's a clutch baby dragon. Freeze the Inferno Tower. Gotta get through the Ice Golems. King about to go down on the left. Queen taking the outside jump spell. And the Earthquake Boots don't even get us into the Town Hall. But no need to fear. The last Wall Breaker is here. The Royal Champion Rocket Spear combo. Freeze spell again for the Inferno Tower so the healers stay alive. One more Rage for the Court. Still got a last Rage waiting on standby. Healer's doing a great job from the Healer Puppet now. Trying to heal up the Queen. Trying to heal everybody. Everybody's dying. Hold on. Super Minions from the Flame Flinger. We actually raged up the Super Minions in that Baby Dragon on the right side of the base. Royal Champion goes down. Queen stuck fighting the King inside the Giga Poison. Even with a Headhunter, she is toast. And this is going to be a defense. Bro, HTME Sports, you had a defense. You had a chance to get back into this match. And you're still not going to hit a triple. How'd you make it all the way into the semifinals of this tournament? I don't know. But they're going to be at three stars after two attacks. What the? Minion up there will get one more building for 90%, and that's where he will finish. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Leo with a life gem on the Grand Warden for a Lalo attack. Let's see how it works out for him. We don't see life gem all that often, but since the latest update, or whenever they buff life gem, we're starting to see it every once in a while. Skelly Donut on the Klein Castle, on the Inverno Tower. We're also starting to see Skelly Donut every once in a while, since Max started doing it again. Saw Rakiras do it earlier today, seeing uh, some of the HTM Brazil guys starting to bust it out again. Cool. Golem, Giants, King, Queen, Super Barbarians. Little hero dive Lalo after that successful Skelly Donut. King will go inside. We'll see what abilities he has. I really hope it's not an Earthquake Boots. I feel like it's not going to serve any purpose here. Where's the good old-fashioned Giant Gauntlet Rage Vial? It still gets great value on an attack like this. But he's not going to use it, is he? He's going he's gonna to have Earthquake Boots. Spiky Ball. Well, to be fair, that Spiky Ball actually hit all the defenses it needed to. So that was, that was clutch. That was clutch. I'll give him credit for that one. It worked out. Good job, Barbarian King. He even takes out the enemy hero with the Phoenix ability. A couple balloons snipe that Xbox. Queen wrapping around the outer edge of the base. We do have one more wall break that we could use for her. We're going to go ahead and start the Lalo from the right side of the base, though. Not going to wait at all. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Still got a Stone Slammer. We send behind that last Lava Hound on the upper right side of the base. We're going to go straight through two Poison Towers and a Giga Poison. And we're not even bringing a Healing Tome. This guy has Balls of Steel. Haste, Warden Ability, Tornado Trap spinning us in circles, no Healing Tome to get through three different poisons. One of them goes to the Stone Slammer, at least. That's a huge bonus. Send the Champion to the core. We got two balloons on the Town Hall. Gonna freeze, and we might get it. Healer Puppet. 
Magic Mirror on the Queen, Rocket Spear on the Champion, every single balloon dies on the Town Hall, but Champion's still alive, Warden's still alive, Queen's still alive, Troops out of the Stone Slammer, and all the defenses are dead. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Nicely done by Leo. How about that? Swag, the last Invis spell, and a Clan Clash triple for HTM Brazil. They have the lead, five to three. All for HTM Esports. These guys need to desperately start three-starring. Magic Mirror, Fireball, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Rocket Spear doing his thing on the upper side of the base. We're just being patient, letting Warden do a whole lot of funnelation. Invis, quick, quick, Fireball. Invis the Grand Warden to keep him alive. Finally, somebody's actually gonna keep the Warden alive for once. Good fireball value. You didn't kill the town hall, but you got everything on the top side of it. Send some balloons to Demono Leith. Did they actually take it out? The Grand Warden's gonna help. Down goes the monolith. Send some headhunters. Freeze the Barbarian King. Hold on. Grand Warden might stay alive. I don't know for sure yet. Headhunters trying to take him out. Rage, the Warden, the healers. Those headhunters will not kill the Barb King, will they? I don't think so. I don't think so, but they got really close. Wow. Over on the left, we got the king, we got a wall break, we got the archer queen on the outside of the base with the Yuna baby. To help give her some HP points. Sure. Stay inside, king. You're supposed to stay inside. How's <laughs> that Grand Warden still alive? <laughs> He's in right in the middle of all the damage, though. Earthquake boots do not give him do not give him access to the town hall. This is actually looking sketchy all of a sudden. I mean, he's got nine rocket balloons, he's got a champion, he's got a bunch of spells, but there are so many defenses left. Send the champion to the core. She's meant to snipe the town hall. What is that early rage, bro? She's not even in it. The spirit fox dies right away, right away again. This is another one of those times where I'm telling you guys the spirit fox gets absolutely zero value. And that rage did not help either. He will get the town hall, but he could have done that so much better. Rocket balloons along the right side of the base and it fizzles out. It fizzles out. These guys defeated like every single team, even MMG, to get all the way to the semifinals of this tournament. And now they can't triple a base to save their lives. What is going on? Poison spell on the right side. Queen, magic mirror, gets through the wall, takes out the eagle. I mean, this, this is not even a time fail. It's going to be a fail fail. He's got no way to stop that Expo Ricochet Cannon combo. Clone Queens go down. Healers taking damage. Running out of time. Ricochet Cannon locks on and his game over. His game over. 94% for Mr. Paul. And HST, HTM Esports, I mean, are 0 for 3. Salino. Flame Flinger. Grand Warden. Spiky Boots. Earthquake Balls. Magic Mirror. Healers on the walls. Fireball, rocket spear to take them all. Let's see what he can do. 16 rocket balloons to go with it. Skellington spell was meant to distract that monolith and it did its job. Grand Warden takes out the monolith. Another rage spell inbound. We gotta deal with the skelly trap. Okay. Some more rocket balloons on the right side of the base. Down goes the left side expo. Angry Jelly still coming in clutch. Nah, the effect wore off. Grand Warden just going for whatever now. Eagle Artillery wakes up and locks on the Grand Wardom. Not good news. Angry Jelly gets hit by a red air bomb. At least the healers don't get hit by it. Angry Jelly, almost like an extra Coco Loon. This Grand Warden's low on HP, so we're going to need another spell to keep him alive. Eagle Artillery locks on. Ragey Boy is inbound. Two rocket balloons snipe the Xbox. King, Wallbreaker, upside of the base, upper side of the base. One Headhunter going for him. Queen Frosty on the other side of the Eagle. Sure, sure, sure. Warden still chilling, doing his thing. There's another skelly trap. Second air skellies to go target his healers. Earthquake balls open up everything. Spiky boots. Nice job. Wall break for the queen. She's low on HP. So hopefully we have a healer puppet. Oh, those two rocket balloons hit so many traps they did not get any value. Quake. Fireball. Delayed fireball all the way to the core of the base. Healer puppet. Magic mirror on the queen. Alright. I like that fireball on the core. Royal champion from the right side of the base. Hopefully we got a Rocket Spear. We shall see. Grand Warden goes straight for the Town Hall next with the Rage Gem still in effect. Healer's keeping him alive. He's going to be able to snipe that Town Hall for the second star. 
I'm a fan of that. Seeking Shield, Rocket Spear, doing some damage now. Archer Queen on defense hops inside that invisibility spell. Lol. Next invis spell is perfect, though. Takes out the enemy queen. Takes out the scatter shot. Freeze upon the enemy royal champion. And boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. HTM Brazil with another clan clash tripling action. Nice attack. Mohammed for HTM Esports. We got the E Durgans. The good old E Durgans are making a comeback. Queen needs ability, or we just freeze the expo. E Dragons from the northwest side of the base. Stone Slammer in the mix. King, wall break to join forces with the queen. Earthquake balls open up everything. All right. All right. Spiky boots did a lot of damage too. Headhunters in the mix. King goes to Phoenix ability. Queen goes to Magic Mirror ability. We're raging. We're overgrowthing the town hall on an Electro Dragon attack. This is the definition of risque. Royal champion from the opposite side of the base. Rocket spear ability right away. Couple balloons in the mix. Pull some traps. No big deal. Rocket balloon on the south side of the base. Queens with healers. Still doing okay. Town hall will be the last thing to go down. We got spells for days. We're going to freeze upon the ricochet cannon. Freeze upon the town hall. Luckily, the queen is right there, ready to rock and roll and snipe that town hall. Invis did absolutely nothing. Royal Champion dies to a double giant bomb, but we got like seven E Drags still alive when we started with only six. So, GG's to the gamer. E Drags are top tier. Top tier. The Overgrowth was an interesting addition to the E Drag attack. You don't see that every day, but uh, I mean, this guy crushed it, bro. I don't even know if he lost an E Drag. Like, geez. Look at that. So many dragons still alive. Had a super dragon in the Stone Slammer. Why is Queen beaten on a wall when she could walk right around? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But HTM Esports finally freaking hit a triple. Pato for HTM Brazil. Spiky balls. Magic mirrors. Life gym yet again. Let's see if HTM Brazil can hit another triple and really shin this match away. Does that make any sense? I don't think so, but who cares? I can say whatever I want. Golem with the king. Interesting choice. Golem dies so quickly. Ice Golem with the Archer Queen. Skeleton spell. Headhunters in the mix. Queen gonna go get the monolith and the town hall. King with spiky balls. Earthquake boots. Doing a great job there with the phoenix ability. He'll get a little bit extra bonus value. Take out that enemy champion. Take out some of these CC troops. Queen will get the monolith in the town hall. Skeleton spell. Royal champion from the south side of the base. We actually have to freeze the town hall there? I didn't think we had to. Maybe we did. Wow. Alright. Stone Slammer with the champion. Lalo incoming. Seeking Shield Rocket Spear. Okay. Okay. Stone Slammer takes out that extra Inferno Tower. Alright. Alright. Headhunters, Dragon Rider out of the Stone Slammer. Down goes the enemy Archer Queen. Pop that War Dawn ability. I still feel like Healing Tome would be better here, though. I don't know why everybody's switching back to the Life Gym. Because, look, all your balloons are dead. It doesn't matter that they get, like, an extra 10% health with the Life Gym. If they're dead from Red Bombs anyway, you need the Healing Tome there. Interesting. This fizzles out like crazy, dude. Wow. That Lalo got absolutely shredded. Shredded to pieces. Wizard on the upper side of the base. Sixty seconds on the clock. He's got six extra balloons, but really not much you can do with them. Maybe with the invis spell you can do something. Let's see what he does with the fancy invis. Kaboom. Probably the best thing you could have done, but yeah, it only gets you an extra one building. Maybe a Tesla too. GG's. We get the last two buildings there on the outside for 88. And I think that's pretty much it. Nice try, Mr. Pato. But not going to be a triple. But they're still going to be up by two stars. Wild. Trotino. Double overgrowth. Invisibility. Quake, quake, and a fireball. Hey, that was kind of cool. <laughs> that was really cool, actually. Just deleted the core of the base. All three Inferno Towers are still up, but at least the Rage Towers are dead. The Eagle's dead. Everything else that was around there. Hey, yo. Nice. Grand Warden with some healers. Try to snipe these headhunters. And we do. Grand Warden might stay alive forever now. We got five Root Riders on this attack. Interesting. 
Are we going to let Warden stay by himself, or are we going to join, make everybody join forces together? Let's see. He's being super duper patient. Uber duper patient. Warden steps up for the Ricochet Cannon. Ricochet Cannon has so much HP, it takes five ever to get through it. But eventually you do. Queen on the other side of the base. Recall the Grand Warden. Dude, you totally could have just deployed the Root Riders from like 1030 and they would have gone to the same spot and Warden would have just walked back over and followed them. <laughs> That's kind of a waste of two spell space, not gonna lie. But anyways, what is also a waste is using a Log Launcher behind Root Riders who already opened the walls anyway. Does anybody understand this? Because I don't. What the? To make things worse, I bet he has earthquake boots too. <laughs> I bet he has earthquake boots too. Let's see. King in the middle of the bed. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Woo! OP log launcher. The, the best part is this is so wrecked. Even after basically having a recall spell that you don't need and a log launcher that did absolutely nothing, it's still absolutely wrecked. That's the best part. That's the best part of this attack. I love it. I love it. Nice way to end the match, HTM Esports, even though you're likely not going to win. That was awesome. Final attack for HTM. All he needs is two stars and his team goes to the grand finals. Can he secure those two stars? Let's find out. Warden walk, angry jellyfish on the left side of the base, some rocket balloons to help support flamey flinger from the south side of the base with a minion in for the trash building already. Probably got a fireball cooked up here as we have two earthquake and spells. Poison tower gets triggered early on the left side of the base from a rocket balloon. That's cash money. Good news. Queen. Archer puppet. Archer puppet. I really just said that. I did not mean it though. I definitely meant healer puppet. Rage upon the Grand Warden. Take out the scatter shot. Fireball the expo. You better be careful with the defense is on the bottom side. King Earthquake Balls from the top. Sure. Finds a bunch of Tesla. He's gonna have to use all, almost all of his rocket balloons early. It's a little wonky. I think he's trying to fireball like all the way to the monolith. Quake, quake. Boom. Just straight to the town hall. You definitely should have made the town hall invisible and gone to the monolith and you would have taken out the CC building as well. But, oh well, we'll just fight CC troops instead. He could have ditched the poison, brought the extra invis, took it out the CC with the fireball. Flame Flinger's still getting great value. Road Champion on the upper side of the base. Takes out that last poison tower. Queen's gonna go down. She gets trashed. Invis spell on her actually might just save her life. He's gonna go with the rage spell as well. Really wants her to stay alive. Okay. Warden, Royal Champion on the left, doing their thing. We do have the two stars, which means HTM Brazil will be moving on to the grand finals. Sure. Can he hit this triple here, though? I'm really curious. Bernal. Can you get it done? Nice red bomb farm on the outside. Super minions from the Flame Flinger. I think he hits it. Looks like a clan class triple to me. Nice. It was a good plan. It was a great plan. Rocket Spear eliminates the last couple defenses. We have plenty of time to clean up the storages in the middle. A 13-star performance for HTM Brazil is good enough to get them all the way to the finals of this tournament. How about that? They will be going up against HST in the Grand Finals. And that's coming up next. How about it?